In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a one-way ANOVA and mean matrix using Sigma XL. The example I'm going through is taken from the Sigma XL workbook. Uh, now, for this example, I'm using the customer data workbook, which is available for you to use in the sample data folder, which is located in Sigma XL's installation directory. So, once you have your sample data folder, uh, or rather your customer data workbook open, uh, make sure the Sigma XL tab is selected. Then you're going to click on Statistical Tools and you're going to click on one-way ANOVA and means matrix. If it's not already, make sure your entire data table is selected and click next. Now make sure stacked column format is selected. Um, for your numeric data variable, you're going to select overall satisfaction. And for your group category, select customer type. And then you can click on OK. And you'll see the one-way uh, ANOVA and means matrix is produced. Uh, now, looking at the results here, we can see that the ANOVA p-value of 0. 0.0000 tells us that there are uh, at least one pairwise set of means that are not equal. For, uh, from the means matrix, we can conclude that the mean overall satisfaction is significantly different between customer types 2 and 3, as well as 1 and 2. A graphical view of the overall satisfaction mean and 95% confidence intervals are also given to complement the means matrix. The fact that the confidence intervals for customer type 2 do not overlap those of types 1 or 3 clearly show that customer type 2 has a significantly higher mean satisfaction score. The overlap of confidence intervals for type 1 and 3 shows that the mean satisfaction scores for 1 and 3 are not significantly different. Now the R squared value of 20.95% uh, that indicates that customer type explains approximately 21% of the variation in overall satisfaction. We need to drill down to understand the root causes and best practices associated with customer type 2. Now I'm going to show you how to um, use a power and sample size uh, calculator for a one-way ANOVA. So to do this, you need to click on uh, the Statistical Tools menu, click on Power and Sample Size Calculators, and select the one-way ANOVA calculator. Now in this example, we are going to select Solve for Power 1 minus Beta, Enter a sample size of 30, a maximum difference of 1, um, select three group levels, and set your standard deviation at 1, and your alpha level at 0 0.05, and click OK. Note that we are calculating the power or likelihood of detection given that the maximum difference between group means equals 1, with a sample size for each group of 30, three groups, a standard deviation of 1, a significant uh, level of 0 0.05, and an alternative hypothesis of not equal to the two-sided test. Now, looking at these results that have been displayed, you can see a power value of uh, 0.94 right here, which is acceptable. And note that this value is less than the power, power value of uh, 0 0.97, which was obtained in a previous video with the two-sample t-test. Now, you can press F3, or you can click on the Recall Sigmax All Dialog button, and it brings back the screen we were just at. Now, uh, change the number of groups to four. And click OK. And now we can note that the power value uh, has been reduced to 0 0.907. So if the number of group levels increases, you will have to increase the sample size uh, in order to maintain your statistical power. Now, to determine power and sample size using a worksheet, you can click on uh, the Statistical Tools menu and click on Power and Sample Size with Worksheets and you can select One Way ANOVA. And you can also create a graph showing the relationship between power, sample size, and maximum difference by clicking Statistical Tools and clicking on Power and Sample Size Chart.